Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another Comic Book Wednesday update. This time around, we got some new additions to the Mighty Marvel Blu-ray collection. Let's check them out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, so first up, um, I remember when these came out a while back, and I kind of had my eye on them and wanted to get them, but I was waiting to see if maybe they'd put more on Blu-ray, but they only put a few of them on Blu-ray. There's like 13 of these wonderful stories out on home video, but only, I think, six of them are on Blu-ray. So I figured, well, I'll get the ones that are on Blu-ray, and then maybe I'll pick up the DVDs another time. What am I talking about? I am talking about Marvel Knights. Yes, which was a series of motion comic adaptations of notable uh, or interesting story arcs featuring various Marvel characters. So this one is a double feature featuring the very famous story arc Iron Man Extremis which was uh, a graphic novel that came out a while back. I actually have the graphic novel. One of you guys uh, sent it to me in a package a while back. And then we also have uh, Spider-Woman, Agent of Sword. So, very cool. I haven't seen any of these. I kind of bought these sight unseen because um, I like motion comics. I heard these were really well done, and they were cheap. <laughs> I think this was only like five bucks or something. It was like stupidly inexpensive. So I was like, yeah, I'll get that for five bucks. And then uh, next up, we have the only other Marvel Knights Blu-ray release that they put out. We have this wonderful uh, four-story story arc featuring the X-Men. We have Astonishing X-Men. Um, the Astonishing X-Men collection. So this one is actually four stories. Uh, written by Joss Whedon, with art by John Cassaday. We have Gifted, Dangerous, Torn, and Unstoppable. So it's actually four interlinked stories. It's a story arc that went across the Astonishing X-Men series for several issues. Uh, I guess about a year and a bit worth of issues. Um, and this adapts all four of them into one, like, epic series of motion comics. And even got it with the slipcover. How cool is that? Very nice. So this one is actually a two-disc set. And I guess if we, uh, we pop these out, we can see some of the lovely artwork inside. Yeah, so very cool. Uh, definitely looking forward to checking these out. Um... Yeah, and each, each one uh, is about two and a half hours, so that's that's a lot of motion comic goodness on here. Um, I guess just to be complete here, we'll take a look here as well. So this is just a single disc with the two uh, stories on it, and then inside we've got this lovely interior art. So very nice indeed. So these were put out by Shout Factory a few years back. Um, as I say, they did a whole bunch of them. Um, there's apparently one out of all of them that's a proper animated miniseries. It's not actually a, a, a motion comic. It's like a full, fully animated miniseries adaptation. And that's uh, Black Panther. So they actually did a Black Panther one that was fully animated. So, um, yeah. Anyway, pretty cool additions to the Marvel collection. Uh, next up, I thought it was about time I got caught up on some of the live-action Marvel stuff that I was missing. So, picked up... X-Men Dark Phoenix, which is, I guess, the second last of the Fox X-Men films. The last one, of course, being New Mutants, which is possibly coming out shortly after this video is being... This video is being filmed uh, on August 20th, well, the morning of August 21st. And we just heard the other day the New Mutants is supposed to come out August 28th. You'll likely be seeing this video long after that, so... Did it come out, finally? Well, here's hoping. Anyway, it's supposedly getting a theatrical release, but with all the COVID nuts, you know, craziness going on, nutsiness, <laughs> um, there's no way in hell I'm going to go see it in the theater. I'm just going to wait for the Blu-ray release. 
But uh, anyway, so we got X-Men, Dark Phoenix, the last of the sort of main continuity X-Men uh, stories. I have not watched this yet. I'm actually woefully behind on the X-Men movies. And then uh, Inside... Yeah, nothing to write home about Inside. Eco Case with just boring, plain artwork. So this, I think, was the first thing released uh, after the Disney buyout of Fox. Um, it, it came out in theaters, and then the Disney buyout happened, and then uh, they put out the Blu-ray release shortly afterwards. So, anyway, I've always liked the X-Men movies. I've seen everything up to uh, Days of Future Past. I did reviews of a bunch of them a while ago. I still haven't finished those. Like, I'm definitely going to finish those someday. I don't know when, but... I'll do them at some point. Maybe when New Mutants come up, comes out, we'll just go through the rest of the ones that I hadn't already reviewed, and we'll uh, we'll talk about those. But um, I've always enjoyed the X Men movies, even the ones that aren't all that great. I still like aspects of them, um, for the most part, except X Men Last Stand. I just hate that piece of shit so much. I'll take X Men Wolverine Origins any day over X Men Last Stand. Um, so it was. You know, I was quite happy to see that they decided to revisit the Dark Dark Phoenix storyline and give it another go. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what they do with that one. Anyway, uh, carrying on, a couple uh, of the latest additions to the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. We have Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I got really lucky with this. The local Best Buy just happened to have a few copies of the Steelbook left in stock. And I have all the other Avengers movies in uh, Steelbook. Except, well, the first one I think is a Metal Pack or Iron Pack or something. I forget what they call it. But it's it's one of those Steelbook-like ones. All the rest are, are Steelbooks. So I kind of wanted to keep it consistent that way. Because the Avengers ones are the special ones where they bring everybody together and it's for some big event movie. So I figured I got the first one with the metal pack. I wanted to get the steel books of the rest of them. And um, there's a few that I picked up myself and some that you guys sent me. And uh, I really appreciate that. So anyway, we'll take a quick look here. So just, uh, just a J card basically on the top. This is the 4K edition as well because it was the only one that came in the uh, steel book. So there's the back. There's the front. Are they the same? No, they're not the same. So if we actually open it up here, and see, there you go. I don't know how well you can see, but it's all the different, uh, you know, major characters there. And then inside, we have quite a number of discs. We have all of these. We've got three discs in there. And uh, uh, Iron Man. Lost in Space. We've got... Uh, oh, this is nice. So we have Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr.'s signature. That's very cool. And then if we pop the other two discs out here, we have... Let's see. So we got... Um, so there's like Hawkeye and Captain America there. And then we have Black Widow there. And then... Uh, we just pop this out, see what we got. There we go. And we have Black Widow with Scarlett Johansson's autograph as well. So that's actually really cool. This is a very nice uh, set. The uh, <laughs> Having those two characters on the inside there kind of signing off is a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't actually seen this yet, but... You know, the internet being what it is, and me being sort of so in tune with geek culture, I, I, yeah, I know who lives and who dies. It's like it's all been, it's all been ruined for me, man. But that's okay. I'm not, I'm not too much of a stickler about Marvel spoilers because a lot of the times I already know the gist of the stories that they're adapting, even if it's just kind of loosely adapting. I know basically like the broad strokes of of what's likely going to happen, and. I mean, a lot of the times you already know in advance, it's like, well, this actor has been very public saying that this will be the last movie that they do, so they're probably going to kill him off, you know. So anyway, looking forward to checking it out. Really enjoy it. I've only seen up to Infinity War, so I still haven't seen all the stuff that follows that. 
Uh, Rosie and I have actually been in the process of working our way through the entire MCU from the beginning, right from Iron Man, going in release date order, by the way, in case you're wondering, um, going from Iron Man all the way through the whole works. So we've gone up to... What was the last one we watched? The first Spider-Man, actually. Spider-Man Homecoming. So the next one on our list is Black Panther, and then Avengers Infinity War, and then that's the last one that we've seen. So then from there, we've got, uh, of course, Captain... Uh, no, sorry, Ant-Man and the Wasp, then Captain Marvel, then Endgame, and then... Spider-Man Far From Home. So there you go. So we're all up to date in terms of having the Marvel movies. We just need to get around to watching all of them. But, uh, yeah. So, good stuff. Got the slip covered there. And if we pop this open... Yeah, there's no interior art here, but we do have a lovely... Some very nice disc art on there. So we got the DVD and the Blu-ray. So there you go. So getting caught up on some Marvel stuff. Um, yeah. That's just kind of how I roll. I t tend to fall behind for a bit and then get caught up in all one fell swoop. These are ones I've been wanting for a long time. Um, and when I finally decided to pull the trigger on them, I was a little disappointed to see how few were actually available on Blu-ray. But, oh well. I'll, um, I'll grab the DVDs of the other ones at some point because it doesn't look like they're ever going to get a Blu-ray release. And I think they may all be out of print now, so I should probably get on that fairly soon. Um... On the plus side, most of them aren't very expensive, so um, it wasn't... I mean, it was, I guess, a successful enough series that they did 13 or so of them, or 15, or however many they did, um, but not uh, successful enough to warrant putting them all on Blu-ray, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. Something's better than nothing, right? Anyway, some new additions to the Marvel Collection. Some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, looking forward to... Actually, I don't think I've watched any of them yet. Nope, haven't watched any of them yet. So I'm looking forward to checking them out. Maybe we'll get reviews at some point. Alrighty, that is it from me to you for now. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day. And I'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara.